Dearly beloved, we have gathered here today in spite, admittedly, uh, of ENTJ's questionable decision to continue construction. We are gathered here to celebrate a life, the life of Jimmy. Jimmy was the best friend we could have ever had. He was a light to us. And even though he never really spoke, he spoke to our hearts. And we will never forget him. INTP, you selfish prick, wake up! Uh, uh, where, where am I? What happened? I uh, just wanted to ask you a few questions concerning Jimmy. Yeah, today's a busy day. You've got two minutes. What's up? Uh -huh. Listen, Sparky, here's the deal. Jimmy's dead. I'm going to find out who killed him. You knew Jimmy. Jimmy assisted you on your building projects. As soon as Jimmy's dead, you've upped production. You have been working harder than ever. You've invented robots in order to assist you in your work, and I have heard tell that you are possibly making a deal with ENFP on the potential laborization I think is the term, of the zombie population. I don't see what that has to do with anything. Point is, you continued working through Jimmy's funeral, interrupting the proceedings. ENFJ was not happy about that. Now, I know that you and ENFJ have had a few scuffles in the past, but uh, really, Jimmy's funeral? What's your angle? Why are you continuing work? Was Jimmy trying to, uh, oppose some of the projects you were working on? I'm a businessman. I don't have a soul. So, uh, skedaddle back to your little psychoanalysis class while I get the real work done, hmm? You're, uh, you're playing that card, huh? The, uh, I have no heart card? Are you, are you seriously trying to tell me you have no feelings regarding Jimmy? None. <laughs> oh, Jimmy! Jimmy! Ah! Not a drop. So you see we're in dire straits. Jimmy's dead. INFP has been missing for a week and is probably also dead. We don't know what happened to ISTP. He's gone months ago and is probably also dead. INFJ lost his mind and ran off into the woods to reawaken the Jungian archetypes in the soul of man or something? I don't know. He's probably dead, too. ESFP started a cult uh, that was dedicated to not wearing pants. Currently, he is the only member. Uh, and he's probably also going to be dead in a week. The point is... We can't keep sustaining these kinds of losses. We need more manpower. Or, as one might say, zombie power. Uh, yep, lots of people dead. Okay, people dead, you need more people uh, from the dead. Okay, cool. So first of all, they are not zombies. They are mortally challenged. That is the proper term for it. Uh, second of all, they do, uh, demand some rights. How, how do you know what the zombies want? Because I am the zombie axe, I speak for the zombie. Uh. What? What happened? Uh, uh. The last thing I remember was I was running through a field of daisies when I just expired. It was so hot. I Morning, sunshine. Oh god, I'm so tired in this heat. I uh, hey, INTJ ENTJ is super depressed or, or something, and he's not paying me for building the robots for him, so could you talk to him, because you seem to understand him better than... Where are you? You're normally right over here by the old cars. 
Greetings, INTP. <laughs> INTJ? I am a car now. You certainly are. I have gone where no man has gone before. I have transcended this mortal sphere. I have entered the realm of imperishable metal and steel and machine. You got into my, you got into my robotics inventions. You figured out how to transfer consciousness. I helped with it. ENTP, what have you done? Why would you make him into a car? Well, you see, I have a very good, long explanation for why we have done this. It's because life is no longer the same without Jimmy. Okay. Understand. I am not very happy about this. But I don't know who else to turn to. Come. Sit. <clears throat> what troubles you, my child? Don't call me child, please. Oh, you must forgive my phraseology. I, uh... I do not see the world as I once did. I have seen a more pure world. You have come with a question. What is it? Yeah, um, in lieu of recent events, the, uh, the kids, uh, have been asking me a, a lot of questions about, uh, death, and, uh, another world. My parents weren't religious before all this went down. Um, and, you know, I, I tried answering as best I could, but one of them is particularly, uh, insistent. Um, little bugger. And, uh, bless his heart. I don't... You're the only person here who seems to, to have any interest in these kinds of questions. You must bring the children to me, and I will teach them. Why... why can't you just give me the information and then I can take it to the children? Because the secrets of the universe can't be unfolded in a, such a simple way. You have to direct the mind to see the light. So... You have to bring them to me, and I have to teach them personally. There is much to learn. There's all manner of things in this universe. They must learn of the ego and its relations to the unconscious, various archetypes of the mother and father figure, the complex three-step Hegelian dialectical process of personal salvation as understood through Kierkegaard and Wittgenstein, couldn't, couldn't you make it a little more, a little simpler, like, you know, if you're good, you go to heaven, if you're bad, you go to hell, like... Oh, oh, ENTJ, please, just stop for one moment. Yes, what is it? You have one minute. Thirty seconds, tops. Well, I, I noticed, I, I can't help but notice that you have seemed a little down in the dumps, so I, I had the kids prepare you this little basket of treats to help you feel better. Oh, don't, don't forget about the card. Roses are red, violets are blue. I know Jimmy died, but we still care about you. Thanks. 
Do you want a hug? No. Yeah, so I don't know. Uh, I mean, there's that one settlement a little ways away, but I don't think they're going to want to talk to us ever since ISTP ate their pet pig or whatever. I think they named it Jimmy. So you're not going to eat me? For the last time, no. I'm not going to eat you. I don't eat people. Just because I live out in the woods all by myself doesn't mean I eat people. Now eat. You're starving. You're gonna die in a day if you don't eat this frickin' meat. Anyway, he shared some with me, uh, and it was pretty good, but, uh... Anyway, the point is, I don't think they're gonna trade me any of their horse hair or anything so I can make my liar, so... I guess I'm just gonna have to be liarless for a while now. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing to my plants there? I am weeding your garden. It is overgrown and disgusting. And if I'm going to live here with you, then we're going to get things a little better organized, okay? And no, you've ruined the rhododendron and the, the... I make tea out of that. Hey, stop.